How's it going, everybody? Pony Lover 1989 here, and welcome to another reaction episode. I just got out of the shower, but the video you will you will about to see will be uploaded after tomorrow. So, anyway, this is a suggested reaction by something different 765. He loved my reaction to animated atrocities, Shorty McShort Shorts, so much that he wants me to react to another cartoon review made by the mysterious Mr. Enner. This time it's called Kung Fu Dino Posse. Here we go at three, two, one, and... Oh, the golden ticket second commercial. I wonder if the I wonder if Tudor's Biscuit World is either in Clarksburg, Bridgeport, Fairmont, or Morgantown. I can't I can't tell. I like to try their I like to try try their gravies and their chicken pot pie. Where's that look, sort of looks like dinosaur anime. Yep, my ears are bleeding. Time to go back to the hospital. I've covered a lot of terrible... Fanboy and Chum Chum. But this show's has got to be one of the worst. You know, that theme song is basically ripping off Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. On the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, being a creatively sterile ripoff. Pointing out your problems doesn't make them go away. And they stated this problem in the theme song, the thing that happens before each and every episode. But, but that's not why I hate this theme song. The singing is just. It's so bad, and it goes on for over a minute. As you might have imagined, this show is going to try way too hard to be hip and down with the kids. Just so I know how far behind the times it is, what year did this originally air on? Oh good, it it's air between 2009 and 2011. Well, it's not very apparent in this episode due to the premise. Each of these characters are bland, one note. That's when My Little Pony Friendship is Magic premiered on The Hub in October 2010. And that's her entire character, being a girl. Token Big Eater girl. is Chow. Once again, that's his Sorry. character. And finally, Token Jerk Asshole is Jet. This episode is about Jet. Also, as I've learned in reviewing cartoons, apparently... Gravity Falls! Dinosaurs. Sorry, Jet. You can't be in the show. You're technically not a dinosaur. But don't worry. I have a strong feeling the show will be much, much better without you. You probably already noticed this, but the animation is... Horrid. Somewhere between Pixel Pinky and My Life Me, we have this choppy, stilted nothing with characters that look like they just don't belong in the world created by the backgrounds. And my Kung Fu Dino Posse, which is a, a stupid fucking name, is an action show. Action shows require intricate fights. Challenge showdown. Fluid animation. When you don't get that fluid animation, it really looks like you're just banging two paper dolls together. So this episode starts at a museum with the red one looking at a computer while an alarm is ringing. My sources tell me that this is supposed to be a joke, but the pacing is so shit, it barely registers. We learn that the big bad guys are in the museum. I'm not entirely sure if that's unusually bad or just plain bad, but whatever. The leader token comes up with a plan, but the jerk token just wants to go and fight. Telling other people Gosh, what to do equals slash equals leadership skills. That's because these dinosaurs are younger than that <laughs> slang. And you can argue with the 60 million year undefeated streak. Most of the time, you are frozen. And being frozen normally counts as being defeated. If we're done with the dino politics, it's go time. But I went this way. Just keep it safe, but it's so safe. The other go time. Die and make it painful, please. The villain decides that him and his brother sidekick are moving into the museum because museum guests aren't a thing apparently. When Jerk Token screws things up. Oh, that sounds like a mix between Frankenstein, a Dido Frankenstein and Grandma. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Any of you in the audience laugh at that joke? No. That is exactly why this never ever works. Just pointing out that you're doing some random piece of shit and then making a joke. 
Dinosaur until further notice. In about two years, they'll decide that the dinosaurs. <laughs> mind control parasite or bugs ends. this was the season finale and the bad guy wins and we all live happily ever after yeah i i wish no we're only four and a half minutes in when jerk token wakes up everyone else is enslaved with mind control but he is not this is going to be incredibly confusing for the entirety of the episode and it's only going to get more confusing as time goes on especially because they don't even attempt to point this out until near the end of the episode I thought the MP4 I got of this episode was just skippy, but no, the lip syncing really is that bad. It's like the terrible lip syncing. Where they recorded the voice <laughs> acting. I this mean, the lip syncs is kind of like anime lip sync. Meanwhile, they're trying to open a safe to gain access to fossils because evil, I guess. And they were given the code on toilet paper because evil, I guess. First of all, I don't think you're one to talk down to anyone. Second of all, the target demographic for the show has got to be younger than seven. And they probably wouldn't be exposed to the cliche that you're using here. Jerk Token doesn't seem to notice that his friends are acting suspicious. Decorating is fun. Especially when obeying the master. <laughs> well, nothing suspicious That's kind of like talking like a robot. That's it. I'm dreaming. People yes, don't talk. Yes, are, people don't, don't talk so like you robots when they're brainwashed so and hypno hypnotized. Nerd token shows jerk token mummy because mummy with worms. Yes, they make a stupid joke out of this. This is used to control their minds and get about twice the personality that they normally have. Some snake people see both nerd and jerk tokens, but when jerk token puts on the mummy disguise back on nerd token, the snake people forget about him entirely. Confidence of these dino dopes gives me a rash. Yep, this villain is essentially a prima donna, just like every fucking villain in every overly cliched action show ever. To give this show some benefit of the doubt, it's probably trying to be a parody of something like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles instead of a direct ripoff, but that's stupid on the face of it. First of all, that would never excuse the animation. Choice. But more to the point, if you want to make a good parody, you need to do it of something that takes itself very seriously, perhaps too seriously. Not a show about mutated turtles that fight crime and eat pizza. Yes, I don't know what you're talking about, but this whole show looks infected with something <laughs> that lip syncing though i hate you so much right now you hate the villain <laughs> they used it twice they used it twice And when you're allergic to something, the best idea in the world is to touch it, you fucking liar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> played the Wawa trumpet. What the hell kind of show is this? Leader Token is told to open up the safe. I don't know why they didn't tell him to do that in the first place. I gotta swipe those vault codes from Kane. <laughs> Anyone else just really want to punch that smug grin? The other two blocked the fire escape to help the villains feng shui. And I can't see this backfiring in any way whatsoever. The villain token gets a cell phone call from the leader token. While the leader token is in the middle of a coordinated mime act. Villain token sees that henchman token is sleeping and demands to know why that he isn't opening the safe. While leader token is fighting, his mind worm becomes visible. When he stops, the mind worm goes back into his head, somehow. Take your right thumb and stick her on the five. Then the left thumb and give her a... And the four, eight of I... I don't even... Anyway, he opens the safe. Door one of three. These dinos know how to take the fun out of everything. Also, I'm getting tired of telling this to show some terrible animation, but if you're missing frames, if things are this choppy and stilted, it is impossible for your slapstick to be funny. Slapstick is like very fluid animation. The villain token puts jerk token on a leash, which nerd token immediately frees him from. We see on the security camera that jerk token was hit with a worm, but... Kung Fu, the worms go like when you upset Kane. It
Okay, let's start with the fact that everyone essentially changed at the very beginning of the episode to what I can only gather is Kung Fu mode. Number two, after Jerk Token here was hit, he was knocked out and fell asleep. Leader Token was fighting for longer than Jerk Token. So even fighting and being aggressive was what zaps the mind worms. Jerk Token should still be infected. And number three, and this is the most important one, what dumbass would use a mind control on warriors that paints out whenever they start fighting? It's like the stupidest mind control free gimmick that I've ever seen. So to get them all out of this, all Jerk has to do is be a jerk. He succeeds with flying colors, and the mind worms just go poop. How to be a hero, according to Jet. Step one, forget every practical piece of knowledge you know. Like where to hit a die, disarm. But step two, use your human instinct of flight or fight. He's dead. Because Henchman Token knew the code to the first safe door, he automatically knows the code to the second door. Because the point of having multiple safe doors is to give them all the same fucking combination. And the safe door has a back door. Hey, that isn't very safe. I'm sorry, that, that was terrible. I, I've been watching Kung Fu Dino Passy for the past 20 minutes. My brain is fried. Oh, oh, there you go again. Pushing your authority, implying that I'm always wrong. Hey, hey, dumbass. You're the one who went and charged in, blowing your friend's cover, and that turned them into mind-affected zombies. This is the <laughs> problem- Specifically is because you didn't want to listen to Kane's so leadership. ...to a battle with the mind-controlling dinosaur, which, by the way, has a fucking awful design. Most of the designs in this show are pretty damn bland, but the dinosaur really takes the cake in terms of awfulness. Nerd Token has managed to get himself captured, and Jerk Token managed to get him free. Then all the dinosaurs fuse together because... Super Saiyan cliche. And typical of this particular cliche, it makes you wonder why they can't go into super form the very second that the battle starts. Okay, how do you make two giant dinosaurs fighting each other, kaiju style, boring as shit? Oh, by making it completely just animate the storyboards with no in-betweens whatsoever. Because the villains were stalling like typical villain tokens, they don't succeed with their plans. And because they blocked the fire exit, they can't get out. Hey, 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 dumbasses. Did you try the front door? I mean, fire exits exist so you can escape if their path to the front door has been blocked by fire. But there's no fire here. Use the front door. Y use a fucking window. And the villain token gets a mind worm on his neck. Those worms only obey commands from score. Do you uh, mind reading this? Well, I don't. Oh, you. When you thought the comedy and couldn't the get any lazier. Should listen to the jerk token more often because his strategy of running headfirst into battle with no strategy whatsoever nearly destroyed the world and turned his friends into mind zombie slaves. That's it. I'm out. This show could just eat it. <laughs> I got nothing. Jack Reseteer the shop DM song. Is that from like a video game? Well, I gotta say, it was pretty funny for a review, but the the actual I mean the actual show is just it's basically the animation is like anime and it's really chop it's it's basically choppy and it's the show is also dumb but i prefer teenage mutant i prefer teenage mutant ninja turtles that is even better than kung fu dino posse thanks something different 765 for suggesting me to react to this that was my reaction to animated atrocities 106 Kung Fu Dino Posse. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like me to react to more animation reviews like this, comment down below. Another reminder, if you want me to watch and react to an entire anime TV series Pokemon, comment down below. Also, if you like my reaction to this video, give this a give this a thumbs up to give this video a like, share, subscribe, and notify me. Pony Lover 1989 and I will see you all next time.